Welcome to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are following the story of Diesel. He's a lone survivor in his group, now stranded in the city of the dead, alone in Ravens Creek. Here we are right here. And that's our building right there. It's pretty, uh, pretty convenient as you can't really access it until without those stairs. So we're in the second week here and today our focus is going to be building some log walls to kind of separate our building from the rest of the city. A little city within a city, so to speak. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of this guy. One of the issues that we're going to have here is going to be there's always going to be zombies around. And once we put up these log walls, there's going to be lots of zombies that are going to be trying to break down the walls. So I don't even know if it's going to be prudent for us to do it, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, so I had a poll from you guys to vote on. And once again, I kind of fluffed it up a bit. I don't have a proper axe. But the way I figure, we have a gun store on the bottom floor of this building. We're going to have to get rid of those guys anyway. And there may be an axe. And if not, we can always forge materials to make them. Here we go. Two down. We'll just keep on using our crossbow here. It seems to be the safest. And it seems like the closer I am, the less lethal my crossbow uh, bolts are. There we go. Perfect. I do not like some of these big buildings you cannot see. They don't break away very quick. And look at all those people. Those are the guys have been keeping me up at night. Actually uh, making me all panicked and, and hardly sleep and all sorts of stuff. It's just been like really difficult. So we're going to have to get rid of those guys as well. And then I guess what we'll do is we'll uh, get to axing it up. I have grandiose plans for my log walls, but I don't know if it's going to be feasible. For me to do that. Ah, there's a couple of them. Almost. Almost got me. Gotta kind of watch it. I wonder if I can peel them off the wall. Like a, like a, a gaggle of them off the wall really quick. Perfect. Very nice. Let's see. A few inside too. That store looks empty, which is really surprising to me. Can they break the weapons cabinets and stuff? Surely not. Surely I'm just not looking at it right. The one right there. We've actually cleared out quite a few of them. But once we get this cleared out, I think that we'll be able to uh, kind of get get to grooving. Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. I could just use my crossbow. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just peel them right off the wall. Very nice. Okay, cool. And they are confused as they can be. They're like, oh, I was just banging on a wall, but uh, now I'm kind of stuck in the street. Here they come. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one of the tips I plan on adding to my next tutorial video has to do with knives. And I think this is a perfect chance to kind of pre preview it. Uh, the really good thing about knives is how fast and punchy the attack is. Let me get out of this way here real quick. If you play it right, you can literally take down a horde with just a bladed weapon, but really, you get kind of a twofer in the process with improving your maintenance skill. I think that's really important. Uh, here's how, kind of how it works. Uh, because a knife jab is so fast, it costs so little stamina, you can use it a lot without it draining your stamina. Probably won't be in the case for me here, as I'm slightly overloaded, but in most cases, if you aren't encumbered, you could technically fight all day without the exertion moodle popping up. It's going to keep popping these guys. And as you can see, I'm just kind of got a method here. So I'm get just close enough. Try to move them around. There we go. Perfect. A little bit hungry as well. A little bit hungry, a little bit sad. And I'm kind of... There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Is that everybody? Cool. We'll peel some more off. Uh, so uh, you, you, I'll probably end up getting this exertion moodle. Shake one side. I think I'm gonna hold off just yet. Let's peel these guys off. A few more. Perfect. Come on, they're they're just as confused as the last group. Wow. Yeah. So so since the uh, knife is so fast, it kind of interrupts zombies from actually grabbing you. So you can go ahead and take like, say like two in a row that are like coming at you like this. It's going to give you just a chance to uh, kind of, yeah, here we go. I'm going to use these cards to my benefit too. And the wall behind me is to my benefit. So 
I mean, I tell you all this, but uh, just just so you know, this is stuff that's probably going to get nerfed eventually, by the way. Uh, but right now, it's a pretty powerful thing to use. Uh, and how does the maintenance skill kind of play into all this? Well, every time you successfully stick a zombie, a check is made to uh, see if it damages the weapon. If it doesn't damage the weapon, you can get XP and maintenance. It's pretty freaking cool. I'm going to get around here. You can always kind of grab these stragglers as well. See which way they come. We go. We got one right here. Get a couple little wax on them. There's another one. Perfect. And since we are fighting with quick weapons, uh, you basically get many more chances in fighting with a slower one like an axe. That's really the problem. I might have pulled off too many. Okay. Back her up. And you can actually use this weapon with uh, what you can actually do. And what I was kind of doing in this other guy, this other streamer friend of mine named Vavictus does, is uh, basically forge for the materials to make a stone knife, right? And uh, just make a bunch of stone knives. So you have a bevy of them. And then suddenly you don't really have to worry about this, these cars here. And I am starting to get winded. How many do I have left? A few. A hot mini. A hot mini. And if you do that, then suddenly you're you're actually improving three skills at once, right? So you go and you get your forging skill up, then you uh, you make the knives, you get the knife skill up, and every time you hit something, you might have a chance of uh, actually doing something, of like improving your maintenance skills. So that's a pretty cool uh, little nifty tr trick. And I saw they Victus do it, and he's gotten to level ten. Think about these knives. Even like once you get your maintenance level up. Man, they are they they just don't don't uh get damaged very often. It's pretty friggin' cool. Perfect. All right. There we go. Lots of bodies, lots of uh of rags. That's what I see. And I'm gonna rest right here. Here comes another one right here. It looks like I'm gonna get a constant influx of zombies from other areas here. That was an easy, nice, good one. To, yeah. And there's like a few more down there. Up there and there's more over there as well. I think to our bottom, right beyond that fence, is going to be a grocery store. That's going to be important because we're going to be looking for food here shortly. The good thing about city living is, is that we have just so many buildings that we can do. We can actually... That's a nice one. Oh, he didn't come down. Ah, hellfire. And they have they have shortened those hitboxes. They have. There we go. Let me go ahead and grab that those two crossbows real quick. There we go, and I'm just going to scoot over here. It's going to make it for very interesting for us cutting down trees. Regardless of what, whether we use it uh, like a stone axe or regular axe or wood axe or whatever, it's going to be very, very interesting. Now, I do have a hand axe still. I just don't see the point of using it. I missed. Doggone it. Did these guys see me? I just don't want those guys to get too... Uh, to, get, to punch through that wall. If they punch through that wall, then they'll they'll turn around and come on me. Well, hellfire. How did I miss that? Let's try this again. Yeah, I do believe that the uh, closer you get, uh, the less power a crossbow has, which is really weird because you think it'd be the other way. There we go. Two more. Or she's walking like she has something up her butt. <laughs> Perfect. Wonderful. Another one also. These are all coming from the street, by the way, not the uh, not that building. So I got a lot of work to do still. We will be getting that wall done, though. We will be building a beautiful wall. I don't know how we're going to do it. My grandiose plan is, is to basically uh, extend it from wall to building, but I don't know if that's going to be... Uh, if that's going to be feasible early on or if it's going to be something I need to work on little by little. And these guys that are just constantly uh, coming coming from elsewhere are going to make it really difficult to keep the, these walls up without them just breaking apart. And to be honest with you, I don't even know what will happen if they do break down a wall. Do we get some of the resources back? Or is it one of those deals where we're going to have to constantly be uh, chopping down trees to make it happen? Yeah, look at that. There's. Let's try this again. Keep hearing things, man. I'm getting all geeked out. There's one down. Now for the hard part, which I do not like. It's probably going to be actually going inside. 
There's one last. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and, and head inside. This looks like one, two, three, four, five. We're going to scoot in. Yeah, see, we're going to peel them off the walls. And I did not realize there were going to be so many. Okay, well, cool. We only have three right now to worry about. But I do not like the fact that there are doors open because there's no telling what else is in here with us uh, other than what we can see right now. And got a wall that I can kind of protect myself a little bit from. Look at all these guns. There might be a... Uh, Come on, baby. Let me come over on this side so I can actually kind of see. Nothing in there but a house key. You'd just think if he would have been a smart zombie, he would have been able to open the gates open for his for his friends. Come on. Perfect. Nightstick, really nothing. All right. I'm just going to check because I keep hearing stuff. Here comes one right there. Oh, man. Yeah, see, that's what I was worried about. Oh, boy. We'll back it out this way. Don't want to... I don't want any, like, close quarter uh, combat. I really don't. Are they coming? Okay, here he comes. It could be... It could end in tears for me, for sure. Especially if I don't know what's on the other side of these doors. Some of these doorways. Where did this guy come from? Oh, probably that building. Here we are. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. 1410. We still got a little bit of time. I don't think we're going to have time to maybe uh, cut down. We might have some time to cut down some trees, provided that we find anything. If not, we're going to have to go into the forest and forge ma for materials. Luckily, we have a lot of rags, so we'll be good. I wonder if there's anything in here. Some pop. Let's go ahead and drink it. Not real thirsty, but I am a little bit hungry. And some chips. We'll go ahead and eat all those as well. Give us a little Scooby snack. Before we go and uh, raid this area and see what all is, what is what. It's going to be lots of weapons. Hopefully I can find, ironically enough, I'm either looking for, anything in here? No. I'm either looking for a, uh, sorry, I'm concentrating. Not in here. There is a water cooler. That's nice. I'll have to come back and grab that, I think. We'll close these doors. Just in case I didn't I accidentally missed one. Yeah, ironically, there's going to be lots of guns, but we are actually looking for one of two things. Either an axe or maybe a crossbow. Our crossbow is about to die. We, we can actually build our own crossbow, too. What are, okay, I was about to say, where did that noise come from? There's a hunting knife. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. That's a good find. Nothing there. Axe. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Cool. We can actually start to uh, cut down some trees and stuff as well. It's turning into... Quite the uh, epic thing. Another hunting knife. You can always come back. Box 12 gauge shotgun shells. I'm just going to like real quickly look look through this. I, to be fair, I don't know anything about this. I know about as much about guns as I know about cars. And if you uh, watch any of my streams, you would know. You know I, every truck is an F-150 to me. Unless, of course, it's not. And then it's a Bronco. <laughs> and see, this is the problem right here. See those guys gathered? They're just going to slowly but surely start to gathering. And see, what I'm worried about, really, is that when I start to build the log walls, they will start skipping this building and start going straight to the other. So yesterday was filled with uh, chopping down trees and continued clearing of any stragglers. We also fi finally got ourselves a radio with the automated emergency channel so we can stay on top of any helicopter alerts. It looks like we're going to have some rain in our future. Hmm. All right. So today we're going to be taking we're going to take the logs that we made and start to build our log walls. Originally, I had a much more grandiose vision of the walls, but I've been thinking to limit the scope of my ambitions for now in place of safety. Let's go ahead and make a bowl of beans. Beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat them, the more you. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much what I'm thinking. Is I'm thinking that we need to uh, to build the log walls. This building that we're in right now is not secure. When I go to sleep at night, all I can think about is that metal door, as good as it might be, is probably not good enough. And as soon as it gets broken down by some zombie, we could have an issue. I'm going to make sure that there's nothing here. Go back up here real quick. Might grab this uh, backpack as well. 
There it is. Large backpack so we can take the log. I think we can get three logs per uh, backpack. So per, per large backpack. And it's the only one we have. So I didn't grab any from the other, uh, from the survivor camp. I probably should have. Just didn't really think about it. Just a matter of me like not thinking the way that I should be thinking. All right. So we got a barricade on each one. I built this door last night as well or yesterday. So we have a door back up. We have barricades up there at least a little bit. I was testing it to see if maybe there would be some sort of a deal. It looks like we're looking all right. So I chopped, I chopped trees down at that other spot, but I also started thinking about it. I was going to chop them down here too. What do I hear something? All right, let's go ahead and get this done. And here's precisely what I'm talking about. Look at this. I just start, I just got my walls built and already I have zombies trying to break them down. I mean, we're a little bit more secure. I still need to maybe do some other things too. Let me come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Ah, Hellfire, there's more. Really? Doggone it, two of them. All right, let's back it up. They see me, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and get the crossbow loaded up. Locked and loaded. There's one down. One down, one to go. Let's uh hit this guy. Knocked him. See if I can get him. So that would have been three already. Four. Four. Another another guy. Isn't that just crazy? Yeah, so we're gonna have we're gonna have some issues until we can actually set up some other walls and stuff. I am gonna take one of those uh one of those garbage cans and move it over against that fence post right there. I'm wondering if maybe I could, uh, I don't know, I guess not create necessarily a, I might try to create a car, car wall. I know they can climb underneath, they can crawl, but it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and grab these crossbow bolts and I might have missed some more. All right, so uh, I think we're done here for the most part. Let me go ahead and grab these, we'll finish up this stuff. That was a gunfire. That's not a good thing. All right. So uh, the next poll, I think what we're going to do is we're going to be sh kind of short on food. We're going to need to either do that. And I don't know if we're going to, we could clear out this building right next door to us. That might actually help. And here comes another one. Doggone it. If I don't keep, if I don't somehow figure out something and maybe you guys can tell me how, maybe, uh, shit, I missed them. And I'm extremely heavy. Doggone it. <laughs> She's coming on strong, man. Ooh, and I'm winded. Shit. <laughs> Doggone it. This isn't going to be the way I die. Let's uh, do this right here. So the next poll will probably be either A, we're going to clear out buildings. B, we can continue to, uh, to fortify our defenses. Man, that's two. Really? I wonder if it's because I'm over, I'm just strenuous. Let me try my knife here. Ooh, so slow. My goodness. It's all the planks that I'm holding. Look how many times I have to hit. It's because I'm tired and I'm worn out and I'm overburdened. Well, we got it. Three bolts to the uh, body, I guess, and nothing there. Let's see if we can maybe drag this and try to lighten our load a little bit. Yeah, so, okay, so the next video, I'll um, probably do a poll. We'll either... 
go and search for food, the grocery store, or we could go and search for food and start to clear out the building right next to us. We probably still need to um, build a bit better line of defense and just this little uh, log wall that's all the way around. Although it's a good start. It's a very good start. At any rate, if you, uh, if you like this, you can always like the uh, video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I need to do, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, all that. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next episode. You guys take care. See you on the Flizzy. Oh, shizzle. Bye-bye, y'all.